All right. Now, do you remember what happened a couple weeks ago? What did you get? You want to show? Oh. Right there. That's right. And you know what we're going to do today? Just like a doctor would, I'm going to listen to your heartbeat. Okay? And then do you see these lines right here? That's going to record your heartbeat. So do you want to help me? Okay. Our heartbeat program started a few years ago. And we provide these recordings, which is just recording a patient's heartbeat and then adding live music over the beat of their heart. So the beat of their heart becomes percussion elements to the music. We started these a couple years ago and we provide them uh, for patients who will end up passing away. So it becomes a legacy piece for families who might be losing their child to always have their heartbeat and a heartbeat song to continue their legacy on. And then we also provide these recordings for patients um, receiving heart transplants. So if they're listed 1A and if they're inpatient, we record a pre-heart transplant recording so they'll always have a piece of their heart with them and then we record a post-heart transplant recording. So once they are, have a heart transplant, we get another heartbeat recording and both of those we create heartbeat songs. So this is kind of an example of the process. Um, so once we've imported a file, um, a heartbeat, into GarageBand. If patients or families choose um, live music to be recorded, um, this is kind of our typical setup. In the first few days of being here he met child life really got close with so many people but he likes music a lot so that just kind of helped him connect to his home life and he got to play his favorite songs when he went into surgery like we will rock you he loves to do this music thing and the heartbeat is just so cool but you know I think it helps hearing his old heartbeat with his new heartbeat is um, kind of a way for him to be more comfortable with the whole idea of everything because he has a lot of questions that he doesn't even know to ask, but I think it helps him through it. So I didn't know what Meredith was up to at first, but um, after we recorded his heartbeat and kind of listened to it, I thought it was cool to just have it. And then when he started putting it into his music, it blew our minds. <laughs> um, he. I've never really thought anything like that was possible, but then I started hearing about other families who kind of put the new heartbeat into like a Build-A-Bear kind of thing and had that to listen to. But I think it's cool to just have both together that we can kind of look back on. It's just like when you're looking back at pictures, you know, you can hear that too and have them as a memory that he might not, you know, have if we didn't have a recording of it. I've seen parents and caregivers really receptive of this project. It's something really unique. Um, your heartbeat is very personal to you, and to be able to capture that for families, I hope it gives hope for something that's not so great. But we're able to capture who that, who that patient is and who that family unit is through song selection, and I hope it gives respite, comfort, and that to me as a music therapist is why I work in pediatrics. I absolutely love being able to provide that opportunity for patients and families.